All right. Papa B Productions. Another video. An educational video. Very excited to bring you a video about the carpenter's pencil. Now, I'll tell you why. I had a bit of a disagreement in one of the builders merchants last week. There's this guy handing out free pencils. They had the company details printed on the side, like, you know, promotion. Give you a pencil. Every time you go and use it, you see the company details. It's supposed to stick in your brain, you know, all that malarkey. Anyway, he asked me what I did for a living. I said, I'm a chippy by trade. And um, he said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to give you a free sharpener for your carpenter's pencil. Got very excited about it, he did. Well, I didn't. Anyway, the idea is you pop your pencil in, it rotates round, and you end up with your pencil sharpened like this. Now, I said to him, you shouldn't sharpen your carpenter's pencil like that. He said, well, why do they make the sharpeners then? Well, so idiots like you can give them away to free to builders. That's why. That's what I felt like saying, but I didn't. Didn't want to cause a scene. But anyway, I had to educate him. First day of my apprenticeship, in the joiner's shop, I turned up with one of these. Head joiner went too happy, I tell you. He said, where's your carpenter's pencil? I said, I didn't have one. So off he went. Came back with a pencil, cup of tea each. Sat me down, we were talking about the day, what I was going to be doing and what have you. And he started talking about the carpenter's pencil and I, I haven't forgot about it. But anyway, the idea of the carpenter's pencil is when you sharpen it, it always ends up broad that way. Turn it around and you've got a sharp point that way. Now, when you're marking sawn timber to lamp, for example, one of these, they're always, the leads will keep snapping off all the time. You want something that you can see through the grain. So, carpenter's pencil gives you a nice thick line holding it that way. Turn it round that way, you get a nice thin line for your joinery work. So that's one use. The other thing he said, it doesn't apply so much today, I don't think, because I think they're slightly different sizes, but a carpenter's pencil was always half an inch thick this way, quarter of an inch thick this way. It came in handy for measuring. And also, that can still be used today. When people have like decking put down in their back gardens, you've always got to leave yourself an expansion gap between the boards. Well, quarter of an inch is an ideal gap. You lay in your boards down, get your pencil out of your pocket, put it in between the boards, fix your board, take your pencil out, hold it on the next board. You're maintaining a quarter of an inch gap with no not having to measure anything, not having to use the like the plastic packers people use these days. Just use a carpenter's pencil, so simple, quick. Also, you can do scribes with a carpenter's pencil where you can't so much with a smaller normal pencil. If you sharpen it across to one edge, then that comes in very handy. Say, for example, I'll try and hold this here, but say this was a piece of skirting board and this was your floor and it might have been up and down a bit. So there's like an uneven gap. Well, all you need to do, hold your pencil against one edge and follow it through and that will scribe 
an exact line to cut to so the skirting will fit perfectly to the floor. So that's, that's another use. And of course, with it being shaped rectangular, you're on the roof and it's you're on an angle, a normal pencil is just going to roll off. Can't with this pencil, we'll just stay there. Well, this one did. <laughs> Let's try this one. Okay, that will stay there a lot easier than a, one of these. Okay, well, I think that's enough. Hope you find this informative video. See you next time.